Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the FS Racing 73901 short course truck. Uh, now this is a 1 18th scale short course truck. It is four wheel drive and it is waterproof. Uh, it's just a brushless motor. Um, it is some sort of clone or like the original Chinese version of the Dromeda SC 4.18. It is the exact same vehicle. I mean, same, all the hardware, these lights across the front, same body design. You know, obviously the, the stickers and stuff on the body are different, uh, but otherwise it is the exact same. I mean, the transmitter is the same as Dromeda uses, and the battery even still has the Dromeda branding on it. Uh, so I think this is maybe made by the factory that made the Dramata version, and now they're selling it under the FS Racing brand or whatever. Um, but the exact same vehicle, and so you can get this a little bit cheaper, but you know, then it comes from a Chinese brand. It doesn't have customer support or anything. Uh, but as far as part support goes, you should be able to use any of the uh, Dramata parts to fix and repair this. So um, you could start out a little bit cheaper by getting this. I'll go ahead and take a look on the inside. It is a 370 size brushed motor. Um, not really too much to see otherwise. It has this like um, servo saver. So, you know, if you jam the wheels or something, then the saver keeps it from stripping gears in the servo. Um, so that's a nice feature as far as durability goes. However, I had the same problem with the uh, that Dromeda buggy that I re reviewed in the past. It makes the trim very wishy-washy. Like, I mean, I'm pretty much trimming the entire time while I'm driving. It never holds a straight line for very long. Like, when you turn, it doesn't recenter perfectly. So you trim it a little bit, and then you turn again, and it doesn't recenter. You got to trim it again. Um, so lots of trimming to do. Uh, fortunately, the, the trim button is right next to the steering wheel, so it makes it pretty easy to trim it while you're driving it. So it's not a huge deal, but if you're trying to do nice, precise driving or racing or something with this, uh, it's going to be a real pain because you just can't get it to go straight for very long. Uh, it does come with this wall charger here that, um, you know, this is just a nickel metal hydride battery, so there's no balance charging or anything. Um, however, it has this like, it looks like a little LED on the charger here, but mine never lit up. So I, I had no indication if, if it was charging or when it was done charging or anything. Uh, so I did not trust this charger, so I didn't really use it. So I don't know actual charge times, but for a nickel metal hydride battery this size, let's see, we've got a 1300 milliamp hour. It's probably going to take a really long time with this charger. I mean, I'm talking four, six, eight hours maybe even. Uh, so you're really going to be better off with a hobby-grade charger. Uh, then you can get about an hour-long charge time, and you'd be much more you know, aware of uh, what kind of charge you've got and that it's actually working. I just did not trust this wall charger at all. Um, but yeah, again, this is a nickel metal hydride. Um, you get about 12, 15 minute run time. Like I usually say, it's hard to get, you know, precise numbers with a ground vehicle because it's obviously going to depend on how fast you're going. Uh, let's see, you can get about 20 mile an hour or 32 kilometer mile, kilometers per hour um, is your top speed. So it's not super fast, but it is enjoyably fast. It's plenty fast for, you know, driving around in the dirt and, you know, really kicking up some dust devils and having fun with it and stuff. So it's, it's definitely enjoyably fast, but not one of the fastest ground vehicles I've ever reviewed. Um, uh, let's see, there is no LiPo cutoff on the ESC, so if you do put a LiPo battery in it, you're going to want to have your own alarm, or just, you know, make sure that you're not driving for too long, because the ESC will not cut off power, so you could over-discharge a LiPo battery if you used a LiPo in it. Um, the suspension is pretty stiff, it's a, it's a little a little too hard so I mean it's kind of geared for jumping I mean you can hear it like it lands really nice for a hard jump but when you're just kind of driving on rocks and bumps it's pretty bumpy it doesn't absorb the bumps very well it, it tends to kind of bounce around a lot 
on like you know you know gravel or little little rocks you know maybe that size rocks it gets pretty bouncy but if you're doing jumping with it it's definitely good for that uh, it also the the body like the wheel I think it has a little bit too much suspension and so when you do a full compression of the suspension the, the wheels can hit the body there so you can see a bunch of rubbing where the wheels have hit the body a little bit uh, so not a huge deal but you know that that can affect it if you when you land hard and it goes all the way down the wheels can grab the body a little bit uh, let's see anything else to say about this one um, no I think that about covered I guess we'll take a little bit closer look at the uh, transmitter here under the hood we do have dual rates for steering and throttle so you can dial it down if you want to go a little bit slower than top speed or have a little bit uh, less sharp turns uh, so that's nice especially if you know you're gonna give it to a younger kid and you want to dial it down and keep it really slow and controllable for them um, we've also got channel reversing if for whatever reason you wanted to do that if you drive weird or something you want to you know uh, reverse the steering um yeah i think that's about it for that let me look around yeah i think i don't know if i showed it too well we, we've got the antenna there that sticks up so it's a little bit tricky to kind of line that up through the body but not too big of a deal and then you get the hood to fit past the bumper there and I don't have the body pins in it right now. You've got two in the front and two in the, or two in the front and two in the back. Uh, but there it is with the body on. Pretty neat. This is the first short course truck I've ever reviewed. So I've never driven one before. It's pretty interesting design. Just a really wide, low body. Uh, so, you know, it stays really nice and stable. It doesn't flip itself over or anything. And I was driving it in some kind of really small gravel and, and dirt and sand, and that was really fun. It looked really cool, just kind of drifting around and kicking up dirt everywhere. Uh, so pretty fun if you get the right surface for it. All right, well, let's go check out that run footage. All right, this is the run review of the FS Racing short course truck. This is the first SCT that I've reviewed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is basically some sort of clone or like the original Chinese version of the Dromeda SCT. I mean, it's literally exact same hardware, body design, the battery even still has Dromeda branding on it. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but it is four wheel drive, 16 scale, uh, waterproof, nickel metal hydride battery. It's got decent speed, but not super fast. And then there's no LEDs on this one like there was on the other Dromeda vehicle that I reviewed. It's just got stickers where the headlamps would be. And then I thought this was detail in the back was pretty cute. It's got these little mud flaps on it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I said it is four wheel drive and waterproof. So all terrain vehicle pretty fast. I think it's like 20 ish miles an hour, maybe 25, something like that. Nice and smooth, real quiet, sounds really good. And it's really stable. I mean, I'm doing full speed, full turns. It doesn't want to flip over. It stays really nice and level. It's got that really wide wheelbase. So it stays super level. Doesn't have a ton of ground clearance. I don't think it would do too well in grass over here. Eh, not, not bad. It gets a little bogged down, but it can do it. This one is definitely more for, you know, hard surfaces and dirt. Looks like I've got some trimming to do. Just like the other Dromeda models, I found that these things constantly require trimming. It's got one of those servo savers on it, and I think it just isn't very precise, and it kind of changes its hold as you drive. So I find myself, you know, trimming the thing during the entire drive. The trim knobs are right here next to the wheel, at least, so it is kind of easy to do it while you actually drive, but kind of annoying that you have to do it.
Man, it is so quiet. Let's go take it over here to the other side of the my little RC park here. <laughs> Pretty decent on that little jump there. Stays nice and smooth and stable. Alright, let's try it in the gravel. <laughs> a little bouncy. These are pretty big rocks for a 16th scale. It's doing it. This one's definitely better for hard surfaces and like dirt and sand. These big rocks are a little much for it. This is a little bit finer gravel over here. Kind of see what it does in the. <clears throat> Looks pretty cool peeling out and all that. <laughs> this looks really cool in this stuff. It's a little more its style here. And I think these are technically desert trucks. Short course trucks, off-road, sand, stuff like that. It's doing, doing pretty well here. I think this is the kind of surface it really likes. Kind of drift around in it a little bit. That back wheel keeps locking up on me or something. Huh. Not sure what was going on there. Let's drive over here. I've never driven in this little lot here. This thing's pretty fun though, I enjoy it. It's not super fast, but it's a good speed to where it's manageable I and mean, it doesn't get too out of control or flip over a lot. I like these little, little gravel here that I can... Yeah, see that wheel keeps locking up. See, it's locked up right now. It doesn't want to turn. But then I can kind of free it up. There, now it's freed up. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> all right, well, I think I showed all there was to show. Pretty fun little model. Ooh, that's hot under there. I put my hand right where the motor is, and that was a little toasty. 
But anyway, that's the uh, FS Racing Short Course Truck, which is essentially a clone or some sort of rebranding or like the original Chinese version of the uh, Dramata SCT. So if you're looking into that, uh, this basically is a review of that as well because it's literally the exact same thing, just different design on the body. Uh, but anyway, check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.